back with another episode of World Beater Wrestling, and today I'm going to go through some, I guess you call them fan requests. I've had a lot of requests over the past few months on the YouTube channel, which is awesome, and I'm very guilty of neglecting them. So this request was from Zach. Thank you, Zach, for sending in, and it was a, a counter, an example of a counter from a full Nelson. So a way, I guess you could say, to break the master lock, which history says is next to impossible. I argue otherwise. So I'm going to show you one counter for the full Nelson. And it, it's kind of, for me, it has, to, it has to tick a few boxes to kind of get the, the world beat a seal of approval. It has to be not just good looking. It has to not just be unique. It has to be practical. And most importantly, it has to be legitimate. And now this was one that I found just through tape studying early in my career. But more recently, I found that this has actually been used in submission grappling to counter a lot of different holds. So with my partner going through from the lockup position, if they shoot for the full Nelson, and that's just shooting the arm up, shooting behind, and locking those hands, okay? So the, the lock, you generally want to have an S grip. That's your best grip for full Nelson. You want to avoid any of this stuff. Now to break it, traditionally the only way I was really shown was to break the grip. And that's the first thing I spoke about in my recent episode on problem solving for chain wrestling. Break the grip first, it's the most high success rate, most common way to break a hold. Now the way I was taught was just to slam that elbow down and try to break it. Now the issue we have with that is two very strong arms and a full body compared to one elbow is not not a great matchup for me. So the way I'm gonna break it instead of just bringing my elbow down, I'm not big enough to muscle it through. So I'm gonna lift my leg, this one here, and I'm gonna reach underneath and lock an S grip. Okay, so from this position, leg comes up and I lock an S grip. Now the next part's the most important. I need to drive force downwards as hard as possible. Now instead of just an elbow, I have my entire lower body working against the grip. So, lift the leg, S grip, down. Break that hold. The elbows are tucked, so really I can go wherever I want from there. If I want to take control of the wrist, I can. If I wanted to just step behind for a hammerlock or even a full Nelson of my own, I can. So one more time from the lockup. Once they've got the grip, I can't really go for the base. I can't really move into space. I definitely can't reach the grip. So I'm gonna go under, drive, take control, and finish wherever I must. If you wanna see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.